Ever wanted to sail to some of the remotest islands of tropical Fiji? Maybe to see how life is away from it all. This week we take on our biggest sail of the year so far. Departing Suva, we aim to cover 180 nautical miles to the ever secluded Lao Island group. The wind whisperer right here. <laughs> With minimal sleep and not covering the distance we need, our one night sail turns into a bit more than we were prepared for. Good morning! Good morning. Today is a very exciting day. Why? Very, very, very exciting. Just a tiny bit then. Yes, why? Why is it exciting? We are going to the Lao group. The Lao group is a group of islands yeah. in the far southeast of Fiji and we are sailing 180 nautical miles to get there. This will be our biggest sail in how long do you think, babe? Yeah, since sailing last, to Fiji. Yeah, last four months we've been in Fiji. Yeah. This will be quite easily the longest. Yeah, first first one this year. Huh? First one, first one this year. Yes. <laughs> Very exciting. It's uh, it's only it's going to take us what a day and a half to get there. Mm -hmm. Um, but, but I am very excited to, to get out there and sail and do the shifts and just, yeah, just be us on the water and uh, arrive at this beautiful, beautiful island. We're going to start um, sailing to Falunga. It's in the south. south, far south. Yeah, yeah, far south. So what's happening right now is there are some nor'westerlies coming through Fiji and they're extremely rare. Even during hurricane season, they're kind of extremely rare. We weren't going to go to the Lao group for another number of weeks but these have popped up so we've just got to go we've really just got to go and we're really looking forward to just getting there in a day and a half because it would have been around probably I don't know two weeks of like traversing upwind yeah. to get there and um, now we are just gonna go there in a day and a half yeah very it's, happy it's amazing yeah so we stocked up the boat with food petrol diesel water, everything you think of. We've been running around here in Suva. We're currently in Suva. Maybe we should mention that as well. <laughs> so we're currently in Suva and we've been running around town getting all the provisioning and things done. This morning we're finally done and we're gonna scoot out of here. There is uh, some wind when we get around Suva, so we might have to motor around, but um, yeah, it looks really promising. Happy days. Yes, let's do it. So we are just about to pull up anchor here in the beautiful, beautiful, well, not so beautiful. Isabel and I haven't really enjoyed Suva that much. Look, we don't like to talk bad about a place, but it's just not one of our top places to be. So I have set up the hydro vane this morning. So the vane is on and the rudder has been attached. And I've also got a few ropes leading to the rudder. So even if it does fall off, we're not gonna lose it. Yesterday afternoon we bring up the dinghy, we bring up Ralph, Ralph's on the bow. Um, we're all pretty much ready to go, except we don't have an autopilot. Our autopilot has completely died on us. We took it to some specialists yesterday and they said it's got some water in it and you're going to need a new one. So it's a bit of a hit, but we did assume that this was going to happen at some point and that's why we bought our hydro van. And it, it can't, it's just... It's just our backup and it's it's going to be perfect for this type of sail because with the autopilot broken and this wind coming through we uh, we need to get there we can't miss this wind so the hydro vane all eyes are on you baby <laughs> Going on. We're on a mooring, why is that? We're on a big mooring. We're not really allowed to be here, I don't think. It's for big big boats. Uh, but hey, no. we're a big boat. <laughs> hey, don't have a go at very weather like that. We uh, we washed her down yesterday. We were in the marina and washed her down and we didn't want to pull out the anchor because uh, the seafloor is so muddy and disgusting. So we picked up, we picked up a big, big mooring board. And we want to keep her that way until we yes. get to the loud group. Yes. See how that long, long that lasts. But I need you to drive forward a bit so I can get this
my darling. Hello. What are we doing? Uh, we are about to uh, cut the corner on this reef here and uh, almost straight lining it. Almost straight lining it to uh, Flanga. We need to win, don't we? Yeah. Fiji consists of two major islands, many, many islands, but two major ones, Viti Levu and Vanu Levu. And this strong wind that's coming through today that we're picking up is going to be funneling in between the two big islands. It's going to be fun, I hope. I hope. We're not really feeling it right now because we're just coming away from uh, Viti Levu. But as we move in between the islands, we should really pick it up strong. I have a feeling we're going to be wing on wing most of the way. Maybe we might be at 120 degrees to the wind, so it'll be coming off our port. Um, but we'll see what happens as the day rolls on. I'm very happy. It's kind of the first time since uh, arriving in Fiji that we've had kind of all the dinghy up, the, the engine up. The boat's ready to do a big passage and it's um, yeah, it's a good process to kind of go through to get your boat ready for, you know, decent sailing instead of just island hopping and anchor hopping and uh, yeah. Finally the engine has gone off. It's now about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We uh, it took a while to find the wind and it's not coming exactly where we thought it would be coming from. We were expecting the northwest. And it's coming from like west southwest, so we're actually on a starboard tack where we thought we'd be on a port tack, which is very interesting. The hydro vane is finally working, and I've stopped my hand steering. That was getting a little bit annoying after uh, three or four hours. We're doing about four and a half, five knots. I'm happy with that. We were doing six and a half on motor, so to be doing five knots just on the wind is uh, very, 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 very nice. Isabel is unfortunately feeling a little bit seasick. Um, the waves have just got quite bad coming around the corner of uh, Viti Levu. And they are, they're really ordinary. We're in this cross swell where we've got swell coming from the south and then we've got swell coming from the north and they're kind of hitting each other and they're doing these really lumpy ones. <laughs> but no, definitely no complaints out here. We are finally underway, under wind and we're going to be checking out the Lao group. We've also got the steering wheel, the main rudder locked, so the main rudder doesn't interfere with the hydro vane working as it should. Just recently when we uh, realized we could sail under wind, um, I've put the pole up mainly to keep the head sail from flapping around too much. She was kind of jerking and we really don't want that. Um, it does ruin the sail and the furling system eventually. So we've just got a nice and kind of poled right out there to catch as much wind and stop the jerking as much as possible. Good afternoon guys. It's very hectic out here. It's blowing 20, 25 knots. We had to reef two, three times. We only have a little bit of head sail out and uh, yeah, we're going from side to side and it's no. Uh, we're a bit annoyed, <laughs> to be honest. This amazing great win that we were promised, that we saw, has not come. We're out here, wobbling uh, from side to side. It's blowing maximum six, seven knots, if that. We're a bit irritated. The sails are flapping, and when sails are flapping, sailors are not happy. The waves out here are really bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking from side to side, um, I had a nap, I don't know what happened, I think it's nauseous and um, all the anticipation gets me really tired and yeah, I just, just fell asleep for two hours, it was really, really good. Uh, I just made some food then, uh, now it's Kieran's down for a nap. We're going two knots um, and the speed will be there in two days. Um, which is fine. We're not, we don't have a, a deadline, a schedule. So yeah, looking forward to, to arriving in the beautiful lag groups. We got wind! Finally! Is it a good surprise to wake up to? I've been waiting for this all day. As soon as I go to bed, it just comes. It's got to be like at least 15 to 17 from behind. 
going five and a half, six knots at times. We're wing on wing, and we're just going dead downwind. I am uh, very happy to finally get it. We were a bit unsure about which forecast system was correct. We were looking at uh, the global forecasting system and it was looking more and more accurate as there was no wind here, but now we've finally made it to a certain point. Actually, we're just near the island called Gao and uh, it's really kicked in. We've been using the European system around Fiji and it's been quite accurate. Very happy to finally have it and uh, it's come through. The wind whisperer right here. <laughs> Self-proclaimed, obviously. So for most of the day while the wind has been light, the hydro vane has been in like the light wind setting where the vane will have maximum effect on the rudder which controls where the boat goes. But now we're going super quick, I've put it into the high speed setting which means the, rudder, the, the vane will go side to side but the rudder will only slightly turn, not massively. So I'll just be doing these ones where we're going 5, 6 knots, 7 knots. So. Um, yeah, it's working perfectly and I can't complain. I'm very happy with our hydro vane. No more hand steering. No more hand steering, yeah. It's like we're back in the med there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so the autopilot has been completely stuffed and whenever we're motoring, um, we can't use the hydro vane to steer because while you're motoring, you don't have the wind to steer off. Um, so now that we've got wind, we can steer off the hydro vane, which is so relaxing. Good morning, it is day number two. Uh, last night we were sailing in some quite strong winds and not much sleep was had. I've actually had to catch up on the sleep this morning. I've gone down for about two hours. Isabel's now asleep, she'll be down for another two hours. So yeah, it's, it's been a bit of a rough first night, but um, Bad sleep is kind of expected on the first night of any passage for us. Um, I don't know why, but it's just the first night you kind of got to get in your groove for us and um, it's always kind of bad. Luckily, this passage will only be two nights, so we were hoping it was just going to be one night, but the way the speeds have been um, and the wind has been, we haven't gone as quick as we would have liked at the very start, so we are going to make this a two night passage. We're going to arrive actually early and we're probably going to heave to um, somewhere out the front of the entrance to Falunga. Um, if we do that then we can enter through the entrance during the daytime and not during the night time because I think it's quite a skinny entrance and um, we really don't want to do that entrance during the night time. It could be a little bit dangerous. So it's now midday. We are Still kind of heading a little bit into it compared to what we were last night. So we're doing about four and a half, five knots. Um, like I said before, we've got plenty of time to kill so there's no rush. Um, we need to slow ourselves down before getting into the entrance tomorrow morning of uh, Falunga, I believe it's pronounced, but we'll double check on that pronunciation when we meet the locals tomorrow. The sun hasn't really come out in the last, uh, god, two days, but um, we don't mind because we've had consistent wind. If the sun doesn't want to come out, that's fine. I'm happy. As long as the wind is here, as long as we're moving fast, that is the main thing. Cannot complain with that. How was your day, baby? My day has been um, sleepy. <laughs> I've been nauseous and, and sleepy today. Um, the weather is kind of ordinary as well. It does affect my mood. Don't have a lot to report. I made some mashed potatoes for dinner. 
and some beans. It wasn't anything that we needed to capture on I'm film. I'm very, very happy that you did. I was yeah. very hungry. Thank you for the that, wave, darling. The waves are better now, so that's something. Mm. And I am enjoying going to bed with you tonight and not rocking around there by myself. <laughs> so it's going to be good. Mm. How are you feeling, Captain? Yeah, very happy to be um, Heave 2. We're a little bit tired tonight. We're going to finish off Chernobyl and I'm going to maybe get in focus at some point tomorrow. <laughs> Focus in, focus out, focus in, focus out. Camera's struggling too. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah? Yep. Have you got a nice sleep last night? Um, yeah. A little bit up and down. We heaved to, and we were drifting towards this um, piece of land for a little bit. So I had to wait two hours to make sure we weren't going to hit that. Then yeah, I got probably two or three hours last night and then another two hours around four o'clock this morning. So the wind's just kicked in, now it's sunrise, but so we're just motor sailing to our destination where we want to be at 9.30-10 for high tide. So that's kind of what's going on. As you can probably tell, I just woke up. I'm still very sleepy. There was a uh, squall or a couple squalls coming through last night. With Heave 2, we do have some sails out, so the boat kind of went on the side a couple of times. And we had to make sure that we we're still, still okay and not hitting any land. Drifting from sleep to uh, a little bit of a panic, um, but it's okay. We can see land now. I really can't wait to put a hook down. The weather is still quite ordinary. I'm surprised. I thought we were gonna sail away from it, but I'm hoping the, the nice sunny days are coming. Oh, I'm very impressed so far. It's lovely. It's just a huge, huge, massive bay, I guess. Lake? No. I don't know what you'd call it. No. It's like a, an atoll surrounded by land, one entrance in. Oh, it's beautiful. We've never seen anything like it. And this small little island that just pop up. And they're pretty cool, aren't they? And the anchor has been put down. This place just looks... I've never come across something like this before. There are like little islands everywhere in this well, well protected, huge island. It's, it's, uh, oof. I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how to describe this. What is it? It's cold. The water's cold. It's cold. What do you mean? It's really cold. Is it? Yeah. So much colder than dinner on that. You know what? I think that would be the um, because out here we're we're susceptible to the ocean currents. We're in there. They're kind of yeah. They're not susceptible to that. Look at this place. Woof. Wow. Imagine when the tide goes like low as well. Those are, these islands are just gonna be like. How's it go? Can we see it again? Yeah, just one more time. <laughs> am I just here to be laughed at, am I? No, you're here to give laughs. <laughs>